In iOS 11, Apple updated the Photos and Camera app with even more features. First off, photos and videos are now captured in a new format, HEVC for video and HEIF for photos. And what you really need to know is that this allows your photos and video to be significantly smaller but still high quality, so they'll take up less room on your device and in the cloud. Facial recognition can now be synced between devices, so if you do it on one device, it'll go to the others and you don't have to do it again. Also, portrait mode is getting a quality bump, so you can use the flash and HDR, and it will work better in low light and use optical image stabilization. Memories is also seeing an update. So you will see more kinds of memories like with pets, and this is thanks to machine learning. And the videos created in the memory section can now be viewed in portrait or landscape, and the video will dynamically adjust. Also, live photos have many more options. So when viewing a live photo, all you have to do is swipe up and you will see new options. There are new effects you can add. You can add loop, bounce, and create a long exposure. The loops will continuously play the live photo. The bounce will play it forward and then back and the long exposure will kind of combine the live photo into one image. If you go into the photo settings, you can also now choose the key photo, the one that you will see before playing. And this feature makes it kind of hard to take a bad photo since you can choose the best one afterward. But those are the changes coming to the camera and photos app in iOS 11. It's not out just yet for everyone until the fall, but be sure to stay tuned to macrumors.com for updates. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I'm Mac Gonzalez with Macrumors, and I'll see you next time.